Hi there, this is Yevman Jr. And here I am doing another compositing tutorial, albeit a rather short one. This time on object indexes, a very useful technique for isolating specific objects in a render or even video. So, first of all, what I want to do is, <coughs> excuse me, isolate the sword and the ball from the actual background, so that I can then do things with it. In this case, I'm going to, of course, uh, make it a bit darker. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use the pass index property of the items. I'll explain what this does later. So, here's my crudely modelled sword and a ball which splits in two. What I basically want to do is select everything and set its pass index to 1. Now I'm going to go into render settings and what I'm going to do is make sure that that pass data is saved with the image. So it should just be under layers. There is object index. So make sure that's checked. Right. So now we want to go into the compositing view. So I have the object, the index ob data here. What I want to do is grab a mix and what is it there is and then ID mask so I take the value and put it into the ID value there this tells it the well it tells it where to get the um, value from the value data from I want the first index I'm going to add a viewer just to see what that looks like Come on. There we go. I have to render it first. What exactly is going on? What have I seen set up there? Oh, heck, let's go back to a different one. Get the ball. I need both of them. Okay, I'll just do that. Okay, that's better. Don't know what it's doing. Okay, now these are far too light for my purposes. They're far too bright. So what I want to do is dim them. And you can see in our viewer that the objects, except for that one, these things never work first time round. It's the pass index to one, and we render that again. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're going to take this area that you can see in the viewer and we're going to make it darker all we're going to do with that is we're going to take the index 0 so we only we get this, the background itself essentially so that our items are actually just black all, what we're basically going to do is add this black on top of it so I'll grab the alpha and it's supposed to factor put it in as an image but I suppose I could use factor oh, we've got a burn here we've got a burn okay. and the other image is going to be that one so 
swap the armor. Okay. Off. So that's a bit too much. Now I have it. Image is being darkened. Probably about there. So nice. So that's the original. The compositing. It's not brilliant. But, I could play, but you can play around with this a bit more. But this was just a. Um, an example of uh, what you can use the um, the IDs for, the object IDs. Instead of burn, we'll try overlay. Yeah, a bit better. Gotta say, not perfect. Okay, so, I don't know why I did this short tutorial, but hey, I wanted to upload something. And, you know, in certain circumstances, these can be very useful. So, if I change the index to 1, if I change the index just to this one, the pass index just to this one to 2, re render it. There we go. Then you even see one of the index of 1 has been affected. Look there, there's the pass index 2, pass index 1, pass index 0 is the opposite. And that's coming off the index object data here, which is available by going in the render settings by going down to layers and checking object index. Okay then. I hope you learned something.